Subscribe to I Am Our Scary Tales and watch spine chilling horror stories almost every day. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. I'm much older now, but this happened when I was seven. My parents had to go out of town, so I had to babysit by Bella, who was a good friend of the family, and she had babysat me a few times before. We had had a great relationship, as her dad was a good friend with my dad. I also had the hots for her. She was beautiful, kind, and smart, and had a thing for crop tops. Anyway, when my parents went out for their anniversary, Bella had to babysit me. We had a lot of fun playing games and messing around. When it was time for bed, Bella was tucking me in, and that's when we heard a noise coming from outside, and then a noise of someone walking into the house. We just assumed it was my parents. Bella told me, good night, and then left the room, while leaving the door slightly open and the light on as I was a little wimp. Anyway, I listened out to hear Bella walking down the stairs, calling out to my parents. Then there was a moment of silence. Then suddenly, Bella came bursting back into the room, grabbed me out of my bed with her hand over her mouth, and she pushed me into the closet. She told me that I had to stay in the closet and be absolutely quiet. There was a sound of running up the stairs, and when she closed the closet door and turned towards the stairs, I peeked through into the room. The footsteps were coming towards my room. A large man wearing a balaclava walked into the room and stared at Bella. He was bulky and looked in his mid-thirties. The man said to her, Hello, pretty. I didn't expect anyone to be here. Bella told the man that police was coming and he needed to get the hell out. The man didn't believe her and laughed starting to mock her. Bella told him, leave. And that's when the man started walking towards her, saying, I just want to talk. I'm not going to hurt you. Bella shouted at the man to get away and she started attacking him, throwing several punches. The man just laughed and he yelled, come here, darling. And that's when he grabbed her with his big arms and he got her in a big bear hug. He started to squeeze her very tight and Bella screamed in agony. She struggled to get out of the hug, but it was clear that he was too strong for her. I just sat there in the closet, silent, not knowing what to do. The man kept on squeezing Bella. To me, it looked like it was going to snap her in half. Bella was clearly in pain and couldn't breathe. The man mocked her, asking her if she enjoyed it, telling her how pretty she was. She started punching the man, but he just squeezed her tighter and tighter. He had this big perverted grin that could be seen through his balaclava. This went on for forever, and I thought Bella had passed out. Her arms went limp and her back arched. I could see her eyes closed. I was terrified. I thought she had actually died. The man continued to bear her Bella while chuckling. Finally, he placed her on the floor and straddled her unconscious body. He looked at her from her face to her belly. He muttered something under his breath and then started kissing her belly button. Luckily, there was a loud knock at the door along with the voice of someone calling, Police, open up. The man got up and ran out of the room down the stairs. After a few seconds, Bella opened her eyes and I opened the closet door, shouting her name and I hugged her tightly. We went downstairs and opened the door to two police officers. It turns out my next door neighbor, an old lady, had stayed up late and saw the man entering my parents' house, after which she'd called the police and then my parents. My parents got home and so did Bella's. We talked with the police over what had happened. That night, the man was found and arrested. He was just a burglar. After the incident, Bella started therapy and also took up boxing and judo as a means of self-defense. Eventually, she recovered and continued to be my babysitter. However, I continued to think about the man, about what he would have done to me if it hadn't been for Bella.